To 91 Reasons, a pop culture fueled rocket into the far reaches of nerd culture. Featuring your hosts, Jeff, Rachel, Luna, Austin, and Josie. It's Tucker Time. Hey, did you miss us? We're back. Hello. Everybody's hello. here. Say hello, hello, everybody. Hola. Hello. This is 91 Reasons. I'm the voice. I'm Jeff Tucker. I'm joined by the entire Tucker family here. Josie. I'm Jose. Jose. Rachel. Rachel. Hi, I'm Austin Tucker. You're Austin? Yes, Why do you always sound like you're going to a business meeting? I don't know. I'm Austin Tucker. <laughs> so you're going to a, um, an audit. <laughs> Get closer, Austin. Here. And who else is here? Hello, I am Luna. Yeah, Russian Luna. I am Luna. Okay, so we're going to do a different type of show today. It's going to be fun! Last week we did Hot Topic, which everybody seemed to like. So this year, this week we're do something a little different. I bought an 80s, 90s trivia game. Whoop, whoop. For ages 12 and up. Oh, no, I can't play. Not for a oh, wow. we, won't, we, won't, we won't tell the company how young you are. Oh, okay. But here's the thing. You know a lot of 80s trivia and 90s yeah. trivia. So this should be interesting. But only because of Stranger Things. Only because of Stranger Things. If we all need a handicap, then no one needs a handicap, right? What? That's correct. Can I just say what is up with Luna's hair? What is wrong with Luna's hair? I got out of the shower just a few minutes ago. Do you use a comb when you get out of the shower? I use a brush. Your head looks you like an not. Easter egg. Oh, let me get my nicer brush. I was using the other Do you one. Do you look in the mirror? Oh, no, I don't look in the mirror. No, that's wow. okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we'll just go around the room and see who knows the answer to these questions. So do you. So. Dad, doesn't, doesn't, Dad doesn't get to play because I, he knows everything. Oh, then, give, then, then give me all the cards back. You don't need the cards. And here's how we'll play. Okay. I'll ask the question. Let, let a little bit of silence there so the listener can yell their answer at the... Radio. Okay, so you're playing two guys, okay? Yes. Okay. And then That's whoever knows the answer, you, you shout your name. I don't want to shout your name. name. No. My name is long. Bloop in. Bloop, Bloop in. So Bloop, Bloop in. Bleep. Bloop. You have to make a noise. What? Can I say meep? Yeah, you can say meep. Meep. All right, are you ready? I don't like that. I need a uh, Wait, this is confusing to me. Just say bleep. 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 Your answer, you, 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 you scream, got it. <laughs> got no? it. Yeah, see? I can do that one. I like you that one. You scream pumpkin. Pumpkin. Okay. Oh All right. I'm saying pumpkin. I'm me. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Um, Are you ready? Wait. Answer. Answer. No. answer. Wait. Oh, answer? That's going to be your answer. In? Austin's going to yell answer. Do you Excuse know the me? answer? You're going to say answer? Okay. What are you going to say when you know the answer? Uh, I, I got it. Is, 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 mom already has I got no, it. No, I changed the pumpkin. She changed the pumpkin. You what I got you it? You're doing meat. I'm doing meat. Meat. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. Okay, wow, perfect. Wow, wow. All right, the headphone users. All right. All right. What James Bond actor uh. won an Oscar for his role in 1987's The Untouchables? Pumpkin. Uh. Rachel? <laughs> I only know Sean Connery. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had it wrong. I thought it was Roger Moore. I said Pierce Roger Moore does not have an people. Oscar. Yay. <laughs> I All right. All right. Who was the biggest selling group in America in 1989? With, oh, okay. <laughs> the Spice Girls, right? No, that right? would be 1999. Oh, a little later. Ten years off. Well, good guess, good guess. 1989, with seven top hits, including I'll Be Loving You Forever. What is that? Sounds like a cheesy 80s song. Their other songs include Please Don't Go Girl and Write Stuff. Oh, I don't know. Write Stuff. Oh. Pumpkin. Yes, Rachel. Is it the Backstreet Boys? That is not the Backstreet Boys. You're, oh, again, you're like 10 years too li- early. <laughs> Who's before them? I always get those two bands messed up. R- I don't know. Oh, Austin? I know. Pumpkin. I don't yes. know. It's the NSYNC guys. No, you're, t- <laughs> you're a decade Ludo. too late. It's the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> it is New Kids on the Block. Oh, I forgot oh, about oh, them. Those guys. God, there's really that many boy bands. All right. Yeah, there's always a boy oh. band. What TV show featured a 16-year-old doctor? Uh, Luna. Doogie Hauser. Doogie Hauser. Played guys, by Neil Patrick time. Harris. Yay. Okay. You guys are not giving enough time for the listener. Oh, we're supposed to oh, be supposed to give time for the listener. All right. What sitcom from the 90s influenced everything from hairstyle to music and language? Got it. I got it. Yes. 
the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It is not the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> because because yeah, nobody, sorry. nobody oh, sat down in a no. in a barber shop chair and said, "Give me the Carlton." Come on, <laughs> Rachel. Friend. That is correct. Because what haircut made it famous? The Rachel. The Rachel. All right. All right. Uh, here we go. What 1999 movie featured the phrase, I see dead people? We all know that. Do we have to answer that? I don't know. know. I really don't know. The the sixth sense. That is correct. All right. What actor-director married his former girlfriend's adopted daughter in 1997? That's a very specific. Yes. Woody Allen. Woody Allen, that's correct. (laughs) From Toy Story? That's Austin. No, not from Toy Story. Woody Allen. Oh, my God. He's Woody Allen. Okay. Woody Tim Allen. What? I'm going to describe a sitcom. You tell me the name of the sitcom. Kip and Henry dress up as Buffy and Hildegard. Oh, it uses the the Billy Joel song as its theme, but I don't know the name. Yes. It uses My Life by Billy Joel. Keep it to yourself, it's my life. I don't know the show. Peter Scolari. Oh, it's it the um the guys that are best friends. Tom Hanks. And the Bulls and Buddies. Bulls and Buddies, yeah. yes. Yes. All I can hear is Austin playing his video game, his little clacking of his thing. Right. Oh, is that in the show? Yes. I don't know. Madonna popularized what modern house dance in her 1990 hit single? This was a type of dance. Were the you, cough dance? No. You, 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 you use your hands around oh, your face. Oh, it's late Madonna. I know what it is. Pumpkin. What is it? The Vogue. Voguing, yes. What? Lamest dance. Ever. What in NX, NXS singer died of asphyxiation in 1997? Pumpkin. Yes. Michael Hutchinson. That's right. Uh, All I right. Michael oh, All right. Oh, yeah. He really died a few years ago. What boy band? Oh, Luna. That was. Oh, guys, I'm sure I named him earlier. What boy band all. disbanded in 1994? Was it one I already named? Yeah. <laughs> What's it matter? Well, most of you named didn't ha- exist in '94, so the <laughs> answer would be New Kids on the Block <laughs> again. Again? Yeah? Yes. Uh, Someone was a fan. All right. Yeah. The movie Flashdance popularized what women's fashion piece? Pumpkin. Yes. The off-the-shoulder sweatshirt. No. Leg warmers. Leg warmers. No, I was going to say that. I would like to. I think Josie knew it. Yes. Yes, and I would like to, um, what do you say when you don't test? Yes. Yes. All right. Because the sweatshirts. I know, but that wasn't what was on the car. Yes. Everybody. Wait, what's Flash Dance? All right. 1983, Hasbro introduces what popular girls' toy? I know. What? I know, I know. Easy Bake Oven. No. No, that came out a long time before that. 1983. Hasbro introduced this popular little girl's toy that is still popular today so I was say, among popular men. Today? Oh, we all oh, know. We know. My Little Pony, My little pony yep. yes. <laughs> My Little Brony. All right. What Neil Diamond song was covered Who? by UB40? Who is Neil Diamond? He does um, Urban Cowboy. What's, What's that? Is, that? is that the answer? No. no. I meant what? Urban Cowboy. That's Neil Diamond? Yeah, I think... That night we were listening to him and playing videos. We got lost with the rhinestone cowboy. I remember we yeah, were that's, trying Yeah, to... that's oh, not my. It, he's no. never saying it ever. No, no. oh, that's he's why never saying it. I was it. referring to the song yeah. "Red Red Wine." That's his. Yes. Hmm. Who played Prince Zamunda in Coming to America? I know. Oh. Everybody knows that. Everyone Come knows. on, everyone knows. Who? Go for it, Austin. The donkey from Swag. <laughs> <laughs> the donkey. The donkey from Shrek. Please say that again. The donkey from Swag. Donkey. In 1980, Atari introduced what shooting game for the 2600 home video game console? Beep. Yes. Shooting C-E-T? game. No. No. Do you, you don't E-T? shoot E.T. <laughs> <laughs> as much as you want to, you don't shoot E.T. Come on, Game Boy. Oh, let me think for I a second. I don't know Atari. Goes, I know. I know. One, what? It's Missile Command. No, this one no. goes bum, 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 bum. I'm thinking, bum, I'm thinking. Bum, 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 no bum, idea. Bum, bum. Space Invaders. Wow. Wait, wait, what year? 1980. Oh, I thought Space Invaders was 79. I really didn't okay. think it was. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who played Edward in Edward Scissorhands? Oh, I thought you were going to say Wait, hold on. I, hold, I can test. Everybody Give it to stop Josie. the show. Give that one stop to Josie. Stop the show right now. Why? Space Invaders was Taito, not Atalia. 
The okay, Atari you console need to stop. No more about. game questions. Okay. No more game questions. They're just going to make Austin go on tyrants and rates. And they're gonna that would make the show out. interesting. Yeah. Uh, who it plays does. Edward in Edward Scissorhands? We've agreed to give this to Josie. Do you know what it? No, go for it. John Depp. Oh, John yeah. Depp. That is correct. Okay. Oh, what brand of sunglasses place? reached their peak Pumpkin. in the eighties? Yes. I know. I'm giving the airtime to the person. Oh, did you get it too out there? I yes, we got it. Ray Carl, Band. did you get it? Carl? Oh, did you get What's it, Carl? the answer? Ray Ban. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say Shutter Shades. What is that? Okay. No, the ones with the lines on them. Oh, those That's 80s. Popular. I didn't even know those had a What name. is the name of the bar where everybody knows your name? Yeah. Oh. oh me. Cheers. That is correct. Good, Chelsea. So proud. I only You're know that because of Adventure Time. All right, you ready? What network aired the show Malcolm in the Middle? What's Malcolm in the Middle? How dare you? I'm yes, no, maybe, I don't I, know. I don't, Can you repeat I, the I apologize question? to the bad you're, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. I, and I you're know not that is. so big. It was the Goldbergs before the Goldbergs. It was on? Is it Fox? Fox is correct. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's correct. Okay. What Tina Turner hit was composed by Dire Straits' Mark Knopfler? Just do Tina Turner Who? Yeah. Tina Turner's massive um, hit. Is it? I'm your Dan. There you go. You got it right. Yeah, I know music. Thank you. I don't know your movies, but I know music. Yes. What does Phil do for a living in Groundhog Day? Oh, I know. Well, he, he's a news reporter, newscaster, or weatherman. He's a weatherman. You specifically correct. weatherman. I love it. Okay, here Better we go. Better watch that first question, guys. It's, it's a, a doozy. doozy. Uh-huh. Ned? The name of the trend in the 80s is called power dressing. And women would wear these. Me? Should I chime in? Yes. Is it suits? No. But they would wear what in their suits? Shoulder pads. Oh, shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Oh, yeah, the worst fashion ever. I don't know. I don't know. Now, Prince could rock the shoulder these pads. These are for women. Prince could. Prince, he's the one. He's, he's the, the one, one guy. The one guy. You're right. Yeah. 1981, this became accessible to the public for the first time. Um, this? Uh, the Donkey the Kong? Cell phone? The internet? The internet. Oh, you yeah. got it. I'm impressed. Really? But I don't know what else you'd access. But that's so Donkey nice. Kong. It's such a so glad vague question. Didn't have that. I'm so glad. 1984's best selling release 15 million copies. Bruce Springsteen was. We want a song? An album? The name? album. Born in the USA? That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh, did you want it? Oh, you don't like Bruce Springsteen. Like Here's an odd question. You made me sleep in a car overnight. What disease... Oh, it's a long story. What it's disease story. Is raced to prominence in the 1980s? <laughs> oh. <laughs> HIV. Is That's that a terrible that? question. That's well, part of the 80s pop culture game trivia. Yeah, this this game is bizarre. This game is terrible. All and right. scammed. Who became famous for her short shorts on Dukes of Hazard? Seventies, not eighties. Daisy no. Duke. Daisy Duke is correct. Uh, seventies. What, what, what is oh, this? Early eighties. No way. Just I went set. to an eighties party once, and I was Daisy Duke at it, so I know it was the eighties. I researched. Nineteen ninety-four. Green Day releases this best-selling album. Oh, that Green Day. That would be Dookie. Right? That is correct. Yes. Dookie. We like Green Day over here. We're the Green Day fans. Nineteen ninety-four. The first commercial success for writer-director Quentin Tarantino. 84? 94. Oh, I was going to say he was oh, out of Oh, come on. I know what that is. What come is on. it? It's Paul, Paul Fixin. You are correct. All right. This rapper's real name is Tracy Morrow. What is his rap name? It sounds familiar. Can you give us a song? Tracy Morrow. Um, Can we get a song? I, I'm going to take a wild guess. Yes. He, he is the legendary Humpty. Not Humpty. Dog. <laughs> Good answer, though. He's an 80s? Uh, both. Mostly 90s. Mostly 90s. Yeah. Oh. I don't oh, know. Not even it, right? That's Vanilla Ice. No. Wait, his name? Can I just list off age Tracy rappers? Tracy Morrow is who? Uh, Big D? No. <laughs> um, let me kill. Flavor Flav? Flav? Not Flavor Flav. Was it? That's uh, Marshall Mathers. Was it someone from the Beastie Boys? No. Was it, uh... Um, Macklemore? No, he wasn't even a rapper. How about Ice-T? Ice oh, okay. Oh. 
I wasn't going to flow white baby. ahead. All right, are you ready? I forgot to shut off my phone. Mine too. Yes. Is that yours or mine? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Are you calling me? Okay. Carl? What up. was the popular <laughs> term for a young urban professional in the eighties? Uh, urban. What is it? What does that urban? mean? What they used to call was? young, upwardly mobile people this. They were called young what? Why well, you're yuppies? Oh, oh yeah. What is a yuppie? A young urban professional. That's done. That was one of the spaces in the eighties Monopoly. Who released the best-selling album of her 35-year career in 1998? Her? 88? 1998. 98. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Um, she had a Madonna? huge career, but in 98, she released her best-selling Britney album. Britney Spears? Cindy Lauper. Did Britney Spears wasn't even 35. No. no. Oh, I didn't, there was an age attached to that? Like I thought eight. it was just 90s. 35-year career. So you got to be oh, 35 year career. Longer. Yeah. Okay, let me think. <laughs> you should know this. This is one of your favorite songs. One of my favorite songs? Yeah. Oh, is it the girl who sings, uh, Bright Eyes? No. I do love no. that song. She's just going through my favorite songs. This one goes, yeah. Water Miles of Bulls of Girls. Cher. It's Cher, yes. Okay. It's not one of my favorite songs. I just happen to love her, by the way. All right, are you ready? Not really for music. What retailer in the early 90s popularized the beige khaki white t-shirt look? Is that, how am I supposed to know that? What? And they're going out of business. Beige No, the gap. What? Oh. T-shirt questions. All right. I'm going to name members of a band. You name the band. The Demon Lizard. What? The Star <laughs> what? Lover, Kiss. the Spaceman, and the Catman. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Nick was yelling it. He's like, wait. <laughs> Who played Will on Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Oh, come oh, on. Luna, this is <laughs> era. Here. Josie, you know? This is a story. Oh, yes, the Will hell Smith. <laughs> All right. In the 80s and 90s, this was the most popular girl's name Sarah, Jennifer, or Jessica? Jennifer. Jennifer. Jessica. Because you have a sister named Jennifer. Jessica. The answer is Jessica. What? Really? I just picked whatever I could remember. I forgot true, the first one. True or false? Return to Oz was a musical, just like <laughs> Return of Oz. Oh, no. It was a dark, scaly Disney film. <laughs> so that would be false. Is it? Is it classified as false? I think there's a song in there somewhere. No, there's no music. No. No. Only the sound of Dorothy's no. tears. Oh what God. does Kit stand for on Knight Rider? I have no clue. It stands for something. K I T T. Kit. Wait, I used to know this. Knocked a guy out when I had. I used to. I had a trivia birthday party one time, and this was one of the final questions that knocked a guy out, and he got mad. He was so angry he didn't know this. I know you're gonna say it. I'm gonna know it. Well, yeah. I've heard. Killing yeah. images the no. turn. Night Industries 2000. Kit. I love that show. What hairstyle is described as business in the front, party in the back? Dad's favorite, the mullet. The mullet. Oh, that is God. correct. We'll post some pictures later. What Star Trek film killed Captain Kirk's son? He had a son? Had a son? I, thought, I thought he was like 15. It was, if it's not the whale movie, I don't know it. David Marcus. Played by Merritt Buttrick, that was, a was killed in Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock. What English singer was named after the Queen of Carthage? What? <laughs> she sang. She sang backup on Stan. Stan? Don't you don't know Stan? I have no idea what you're talking about. But you, Eminem's Stan. When he's yelling about Stan, and she sings. Is she, is she the one that goes, um, in, like, the, the uh, 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 Pink? Was that her name? Rihanna? Rihanna? I don't know. Put your picture on my wall, oh. and it reminds no. me that it's I not so Rihanna bad. Song. It's not Dido. Remember Dido? She had a career in right. 10 seconds. That's the girl from the Eminem song? Yeah. yeah. I don't find no. Move it on. The most popular boy's name of the 80s, 90s, Michael, Matthew, or Joshua? Michael. Joshua. Joshua. Michael. Michael. Michael is the answer. Really? This is boring names, people. Get with it. They're only boring because <laughs> they were the most common when you grow up. I'm going to name characters on a TV show. <laughs> Michael you name Bond the show. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Name the show. I call him name the show. Name the show. Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia. 
I'm going to take a random guess. I don't know. Those sound like a bunch of old golden? ladies, so I'm going to go with the Golden Girls. It is the Golden Girls. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, 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 wait. The Golden Girls are old ladies? Her name's not yes. Betty White on the show? No. Because <laughs> they were in their golden years. That doesn't make oh. sense to you. I thought the Golden Girls were like another popular girl band that were like, oh, no. yeah. let's party. All right. Who directed Pretty in Pink and The Breakfast Club? Who That's you. Oh, come on. John Hughes? John Hughes. That is correct. <laughs> Who directed Wait, Who guys. Who directed A Nightmare on Elm Street? Spooky. Yes, his name West is Spooky. West Craven? West Craven is that correct. I, have to get I don't know who that is. I'm not a fan of scary movies. I'm not a fan of scary movies. No, you're not a fan of scary anything. All right. How are you, my child? Starting in 1983, this was the most popular watch in the 80s. I know this one. Okay. Oh, my God. I scream. I'm so excited Wait. when I saved enough money to buy one. And I have the coolest one. The pocket it matched watch. my shoes. I was it? gorgeous. I know what it and is. It was a Swatch. A Swatch watch. Yes. What is it? <laughs> There's this really cool Swatch watch what in is Vegas. What is a Swatch watch? Store, and I still go and draw. What is it? Oh, you were not hip if you did not. What is a Swatch watch? It was a, a cool watch. watch. But they don't really use watches no more. Look, I got It's just that a phone. Hot one. That you have a phone. Like the coolest hot watch ever. You don't ever. need a watch. And I put it on. Remember the one I got at the thrift store the other day? So I put it on, and I'm like, Okay, one, it just felt weird. I'm like, what is its purpose? It's hugging my skin. It's hot and clammy. It doesn't even work. That was awesome holding your hand. Full of record. Uh, watches, like big, nice gold watches, are very popular. No, I just don't even watches understand why these did watches, and now we have phones. I'm just like, maybe they're I still, don't need They're this still in. Girl. Still popular. All right, 1981. This red-headed video game character appeared in Donkey Kong. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Mario! Josie. It's Mario. <laughs> Josie got it. He was a carpenter, not a plumber back then. He was a George carpenter? Michael sang, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me with Don't Who? Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. With Who? The duet with Who? I have no clue. I've never heard of this. Great song. Elton John. Oh, I thought you should have known that off. I know. I was I know. thinking more. I should have. All right, but all you right. don't like George Michael, so even though you love Elton John, I will like. Yeah, I'm not down. a George Michael fan. Who played yeah. Mike Seaver on Growing Pains? I know that sounds painful. Go ahead, Kirk Cameron. You are correct. I love that show, and I might have had a wall plastered with this. Book. Okay, this subculture in the 1980s popularized the fashion of wearing a turned-up collar. What? You take your eyes on and you pop the collar, and you are suddenly a. Preppy? That is correct. You were oh, preppy. Yeah. I didn't do preppies, but I know of them. Who played Andy in Pretty in Pink? Come on, Austin. I. Oh, oh wait. The, wait. The goal? I. I don't know. I don't know. Molly Ringwald. You are oh. correct. I thought that was the guy. No, the guy's He's Ducky. Wayne and Ducky. All right. Bandai 1996 sells the first digital pet called. Oh, you are correct. Yay. All right. Kelly LeBrock appeared in ads for this product when she said, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. beautiful. What was the product? Um, it was um, hair stuff. It was hair stuff, yes. Revlon? I know. Pantene, Pantene shampoo. I knew it was hair stuff. God, I wouldn't have got that. Huge. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. That was huge. What He's animated character says, oh. eat my shorts? Oh, I know, I know. I know. Yeah. Go ahead. Bart. Yes. Okay, we're in the 90s. And we're at a large party <laughs> featuring DJs, <laughs> electronic dance music. Ugh, and it's run. called a what? A rave. And it's run. called a rave. <laughs> you run as far as you can. That's very funny. I do like the day glow. And the Austin? Glowing yes. Who had a hit with Hit Me With Your Best Shot? Come on, I hate you her. Best you hate shot. her. My true enemy. He hates her. Pat Benatar. Yes. Yeah, he's not a fan. All right, I'm going to name three shows. You named the most popular of the 80s. Cheers, MASH, or The Cosby Show. Oh, come Cosby. on. No, it, yeah. Cosby Show. Oh, what really is that rated on? What is most popular? It, it was number one for I everyone. Everyone I was going to say Mass. No. I was going to wow. say Cheers. All right. The only one I've I'm going to name a rock star's real name. You tell oh, me his stage name. Okay. His real name is Bob Ritchie. Ritchie. Bob doesn't have to know what Ritchie does. He's Bob Ritchie. 
He sings hard rock. Is he someone in Metallica? I, I not think yes. Metallica. Yeah, yes. take a guess. Okay. Axel Rose. Close. No. no. Um, this is a 90s guy. Bob Ritchie is better known as... I don't... Balls to the wall, the bang, the ding, ding, ding. Oh, um, it's the Lincoln Park guy? No. no. Kid Rock. Kid Rock. I'm getting it confused. <laughs> I don't like 90s. I suck at the 90s. They tried I to, like, Kid Rock was a country whole... guy. He's, oh, he's not. Southern Rock. Southern Rock. Southern Rock is technically country that rocks. All right. Different. What huh? movie is this quote from? Our generation had no Great Depression, no Great War. Our war is spiritual. Our depression is our lives. I know. That's depression. Breakfast Club. Nope. Um, I don't know that. I don't know. They're not allowed to talk about it. The Fight Club? Fight Club, yes. No. Oh, I should have known that. I, don't I know was. Fight Club. Oh, I don't. Fight Club was 99? Isn't Fight yeah. Club what you based wow. Fine Club on? Yes. All right, this show in 1997 from Japan gave kids gave kids seizures when it aired. I, I know. Oh, wait, Luke, well, there's there's two you there's could two. pick. There's two. two. One is Saban's Power Angels, and yep. the other Pokemon. 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 Pokemon they both had the episodes that are banned in another. That's they're funny. banned forever what, now. What, what's going on? Is this something I don't know about. What's what? There was a few episodes of Power Rangers and a few episodes of Pokemon that had flashing lights that like made kids lights. just start oh. having seizures. That's that's lovely. All right. This TV show in the early 90s popularized kids having sideburns. Ew. Kids having sideburns. Kids having sideburns. The two lead actors on the show. 90210. 90210. Seriously, that was a trend? Yeah, it was a trend, yes. How funny is that? That is really funny. Brandon and and Dylan Perry have sideburns, you're right. Yeah, sideburns, man. How funny is that? Um... Okay, right before cell phones, everybody had one of these. That would be the highly successful Apple Newton. The pager. pager. A pager. Everybody yeah. had a pager. pager. It was it just beat. text People and a beat. It just told you a number to call. Yeah. Someone's trying to call you. Josie's never heard of a pager. A pager? Usually back yeah. then it was like doctors had them because they knew they were being needed. Isn't Still that then. funny? What did Ace Ventura do for a living? He was a pet vet detective or something. He was oh, a pet, pet detective. detective. Yes, it's in the title. I've never seen that. So Me who either. played the singing the bartender stuff. Miguel Morez on General Hospital? I don't watch General Hospital. Only in true. But you know him because he was a huge star. And it wasn't Rick Springfield. That's the no. time I watched him. No, after Rick Springfield, this guy played. Think of the now the name Miguel Morez. Well, he's obviously like Hispanic. Yes. And he's living Ricky La Vida Martin. Loca. Uh, Ricky, Ricky Martin. Martin is correct. I got it for you and said the song. Who played Judge Harry T. Stone on Night Court? Oh, oh Harry oh, Anderson. Like. Yes. What was VHS's competition? Laserdisc. Beta? Beta, thank you. Like a fish? Yeah, like a fish. <laughs> In 1983, Michael Jackson introduced this dance to the world. The, the, the moonwalk. Yeah. The moonwalk is correct. <laughs> oh, Josie. Wow, Josie's doing very well. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. All right. Here we go. Who, in 1987, had a number one hit with I Think We're Alone Now? I know, I know. Who? Um, Debbie Gibson. Wrong. Tiffany. Tiffany. Sorry, I got them confused. And Tiffany, by the way, is going to be down here in the Club 80s on Orange Thorpe Avenue in Fullerton on September 16th. I Think this We're Alone Now. This coming weekend, the real Tiffany, a block from my house... I really want to go, but I can't. There doesn't seem to be anyone around. But if you don't have plans, you should go see Tiffany and tell her she's hot. She's in my yearbook. She went to school with with Dad over here and lives in my neighborhood. All right. This book series has originally 62 entries and features titles like Night of the Living Dumb. I know. Oh, Goosebumps. Yeah. Yes. I knew just because how many there were. Zach was yelling at me. Yes. Hey. What band said, we built this city on rock and roll? Uh, <laughs> the Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets. Did I get a point? <laughs> no. I, I actually can't I think hate it that song. My head. What's can't. the band? Uh, we built they have a name just as ridiculous as their song, but I don't know it. Something or no. Starship. Starship. Jefferson oh, Starship. Oh. I, I, that was not, the not Muppets. in my brain. We're not fans. All right. In the, <laughs> here, Rachel. In the 90s, uh-huh. what was commonly attached to your wallet? Attached to your Men wallet? Men wore these. Remember these? 
You put your wallet, and it had something attached to it. You mean like a chain? They had a wallet chain. Oh, Remember wallet right. chains? Yeah, oh you my! Have one? Of course, of course. I think I could walk the wallet chain. <laughs> wow. Do you even have a wallet? All so right. It get no. stolen. These were born in 1993 and are still popular today as collectibles. Wait, 93? 93. Oh, this game was 70s, 80s. It's way too much 90s. Yeah, I thought it was. 80. I was going to say Pez, I but I think that's older, right? Where's this from? I was going to say yeah, Cabbage Patch Kids, but that's 80s. No, no, no. I'm I don't know guess. 90s. Wait, 93. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. Pox. Was it. Um... No, they're still popular today. <laughs> <laughs> still popular that was the clue. <laughs> Furby. No. Furby's like 98. Beanie Babies. They're not popular today. Oh, popular. 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 Five Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies. The big-eyed ones are. I have resorted <laughs> to. You download an app game to play with them. Like, that's not popular anymore. All right, I'm going to give you the name of a rapper. You tell me oh, who it why is. a rapper? Marshall Mathers. Eminem. Slim Shady. Needs to be problem with his sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> There's vomit on his sweater already. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. Lottie Dottie. All right. <laughs> Lottie Dottie. Lottie Dottie. Okay. We like to this show... You know? Starred Claire Danes as Angela Chase, and she was 15 years old. Um, and she was in high school. Was this show I watched? Yes, was very popular. This but was I a didn't mega watch that popular party of five. show. Everybody it was a party of five. Um, this starred her and Jared Leto, I think. Uh, My So Called Life. I didn't watch that. I don't know what that is. Never I know heard what of it. it. Is, but I didn't watch it. Wow. Start the Joker. Yes. Yeah. Not the Joker. Okay, who was too sexy for his shirt? Milan, Japan, and his cat. I <laughs> said Fred is correct. I'm too sexy for my love. My love loves going to leave me. On the catwalk. Oh, yeah, I do oh, no, my little turn on the catwalk. Wow, okay, are you ready? This song by Meredith Brooks included the line, So take me as I am. This may mean you'll have to be a stronger man. I'm a... Uh, I know. What? Hot break on. Bitch. Oh. I'm a lover. I'm a child. I'm a mother. Okay. I'll name the people in the band. You name the band. Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe. Chris Lowe? This is one of your familiar. favorite bands of all time. Oh, God. It's one of my favorite bands. Yeah. Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe. I must not like the guys Lowe. in it. There's only two of them. So that's a clue. Proclaimers? That's no, Charlie no. and uh, Craig. Craig. I know them. That's why I think he's lying about his favorite part. Neil <laughs> Tennant and Chris Lowe are that's members of what British band? British. British. Okay, British. It's just two of them? Yes. Just two of them? Yes. That's what you're talking Wait, 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 wait. I have British only two of them. I do. British duo. I have People are screaming like likes. the radio. I have a razor and a pet Vince shop Clark. boys. It's pet my shop two boys. Favorite. Yes. yes, you've got the brains. I've got the looks. Let's make lots of money. All right. The movie The Crow. Who was killed during filming of The Crow? Oh, so sad. The Crow guy. Brandon Lee. <laughs> Brandon Lee. <laughs> so sad. That guy died. That guy, right? That crow guy died. That All guy. Right. What musical guest on Saturday Night Live ripped up a picture of the Pope? <laughs> um, this this caused a worldwide scandal. Know. That's why I said her. When she she's saying, nothing compares to you. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor, yes. She was just in the news today. What'd she do? Tried to kill herself again, I think. Something about depression. I don't know. Wow. Oh, okay. See how old she looks now. I didn't even know it was her. Yeah, she looks terrible. Yeah, she's a hot mess. All right, I'm going to sing the opening song. You tell me what song it is. The opening lyric is, Hey, little sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister. Yeah. <laughs> she knows that I don't part. Know it. Hey, Hey, little sister, what have you done? I know. Go. It's White Wedding. It's White Wedding. Oh. You are correct. Uh, really, I don't. Good job, Austin. Oh, come on. That's so easy. I know, but like, I'm really, I can do the lyrics, but I'm really bad about naming who's singing it. But I'll sing every word, but I can't All right. tell you who it is. In the late 90s, this must-have furry robotic toy. Oh, oh there it is. 40 million. <laughs> Furby is correct. This band from L.A., released the album called Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Well, it's obviously a metal band. Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I LA Gun. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a... That is not a metal band. It's Red Hot Chili it's Peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers. They're not metal. They're part of that, I would call, icky grunge. Who, um, 
Little Austin? Who likes big butts and he cannot lie? Yeah. Wait, I'm going to wait for it. Big butts and I cannot lie. Who is that? You other brothers made it, nah. When a girl walks in with any bitty ways that I think. Is it someone that sings the, uh, the uh, uh, apple bottom? Is that no. no. Who is it? I can't think of it. Go, head. Rachel. I don't we, know his name. Sir Mix-a-Lot? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. I names. I only sing the song. Wow. That that name was was in my brain. A few of these haven't been, but that was in there somewhere. Somewhere All right. <laughs> in 2007... What? This That's not 80s or 90s. Listen, in 2007, uh-huh. this 80s song became a meme. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna... That's my jam. Oh, no, Josie. You need memes. It's the child's all about it. Yes. I... Just, just want to tell, tell you how, how I'm feeling. Someone, make, someone please understand. make that the ringtone. Never gonna give you up. up. Never, Never gonna, gonna let you down. down. Never gonna run no, no, around no, and desert you. There you go. Wow. Rick Astley. Never make you cry. Never say goodbye. Yeah. Wait, Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. you. All right. All right. In the 90s. What type of jean fastening became more popular? Belt. That's a stupid question. What? What's the question? Uh, remember, they got rid of zippers, and jeans became button, button fly. fly. That, yeah, what? Stupid. That's a stupid question. Yeah, jeans have both, don't they? No, they all have right. buttons all the way up. Five oh. button fly jeans. Ew. This song, this song was inspired by Elvis Presley, Personal Jesus. What band? Austin. Personal what? Jesus. Personal. One of my favorite bands in the whole wide world. God, I don't know. Your own personal, personal Jesus. Oh, you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Wait, turn it up every time. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I feel stupid now. All right, Luna, who was the world's first computer-generated TV host? Oh, Max Hedrum. Max Hedrum is yeah, correct. Who, Easy. Was who played Max Hedrum? I don't know. Matt Frewer. <coughs> All right. dad is showing up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to name a wrestler. Guy, what? and you a name. Guy. I'm gonna name wrestling. his real name, and you tell me his wrestling name. Uh-huh. Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. The Rock. See, you guys are like, we're not gonna get that. Uh, it's, it's just so easy. No, I know the Rock Master. personally. You know, I met Austin, him with the Sammy Shock the Vampire Queen. Right. Don't touch me. The movie premiere <laughs> many years ago. So All right, this song begins with this line: "I made it through the wilderness." I made it through the wilderness. <laughs> What is that? Somehow I made it through. <laughs> Did it how lost I was until I found you. What is it? No. I've never heard that. Oh, my God. They don't play it on the radio a lot. Oh, really? No, they always play Celebration or Borderline. I really don't like her. But, but they don't play song, like a ooh. virgin. Madonna, like a virgin. Oh. All right. Madonna. In the I'm movie Speed, <laughs> how fast does the bus have to go to keep from blowing up? When keep it above wrong, just 50. Just 50 is correct. I was going to say 88 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, aren't you funny? <laughs> the movie, the bus had to have enough speed and enough That's speed it would blow up. Homer <laughs> goes, Homer like goes I like saw this movie. movie. It was about a bus and it had to speed all over town. It was going to blow up. It had to speed. I think it was called The Bus That Couldn't Slow Down. Oh, my God. In what movie does Daryl Hannah play a mermaid? Little Mermaid. No, Splash. Who is living in a material world because she's a material that's, girl? That's, that's Madonna. Yeah. That is correct. Why is she in this game so much? Because it's the 80s. She was the most popular female singer of the 80s. Go away now. Who you just... played Captain Hook in the movie Hook? Oh, what's, oh, I Dennis don't know Hopper. his name. Oh, Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Dustin Hopper? You got the right initials, but it's Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> wow. What, what Pearl Jam song is about a high school student who shoots himself in front of the class? That's well, violent. You like, you like Pearl Jam. That's the next band you should look up. Pearl Jam. Just discovered Nirvana. The song is called... Oh, I don't do song titles. Jeremy oh, Spogan. You should look up. Pearl Jam and Earl. Jam. Another grunge band. Who sings Footloose? Footloose. Yeah. Um, I don't remember <laughs> the name of it. I don't know. But... Who sings Footloose? Kenny know. Loggins. Loggins? Yes. Wow, well, I'm sure he got made fun of at school. What the heck? This is the question. What the heck was a Dealey Bobber? Those little headbands. Headbands. Yes. 
Speaking of that, I have some vintage Halloween dilly boppers, and I think I have like seven or eight, and I'm going to bring them on opening night of, of Scary Farm if anybody wants to wear one with me so for a photo. So, get there late, you won't so have to wear get them. Get there early, head. so you get a dilly bopper. Yeah, dilly bopper. Wasn't Those that cool. also in Little Mermaid? Austin, who rocks the Casbah? It's like doing, wow. it's like doing, uh, um, um, it's like doing, um, Hollywood Squares. Austin! Who rocks the Casbah? He doesn't like the I, I hate that song. I hate that song so much. I he really, really hate it. I, I really don't like it. I don't know. I really it comes don't out, like it. Out. Can you tell? I All right. really don't what like it. What song Casbah? includes the line, he just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich? <laughs> down under. Oh, down under. Yes. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for another one? Yeah, I like music ones, because I don't only know music ones. I don't know movies. You don't know movies? Movies suck. No, you do not. How dare you? I like music better than movies. I know Okay, all right, this is for your mom. Okay, I'm ready. Half belt, half purse. Uh, Popular in the well, 80s. Well, let me just say that I <laughs> totally support this trend in fashion. <laughs> I still wear one today when needed. Okay, back. And yes, and it needs the, it's to the, come back. No, that's no, definitely ever. no. There's no just time no, when no. you need your hands this, free. No. Okay, this is probably the I sported no, one. No, and then some spring weekend, the whole weekend. I'm sure if you saw me, you saw my bright pink. Buy some pack. nice pants that actually have pockets. Or add girls wear leggings. Or they don't have leggings. leggings. Add some pockets. Okay, so I know company. Wear a makes, hoodie. Who sings the song, You Can't Touch This? MC Hammer. MC Hammer is correct. Okay. Okay, here we go. Who sings these hits? In the Air Tonight, Sue Studio, and Invisible Touch. Phil Collins. Phil Collins? I love Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Old man, middle-aged music. That's Jeff's title. Wow, this, this question will really shock you. Okay, in 1990, in 1990, this tells you how far we've come. In 1990, the World Health Organization took this disease off of its list of diseases. Oh, I don't know. Homosexuality. Oh. Wow. I, who wow. knew? It was wait, considered wait, wait. a disease. Oh, okay. I'm like, how is that a disease? It is. It isn't. But back then, people were ignorant. Oh my god! Wow. He, he caught gay. <laughs> you see what happened? They turned gay like a werewolf. I don't think there's a cure. No, there is a cure. <laughs> you're either born with it or you're not. Okay, here we go. I think actually you could contract it. I'm just going to say that. All right, which heavy metal oh, band no. had hits with Dr. Feelgood and Home Sweet Home? Home Sweet Home. He's the one you call Dr. Feelgood. He's the one that's going to make it all right. What's, what's the name of the band? Yes. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Motley Crue. Oh. Well, that's the Crotch album, right? The Vince what? Guy. He's what? Crotch. <laughs> the Crotch album. What? I was the other Just really go, popular. yeah. It's a Crotch album. Yeah. It's a Crotch album. It's a Crotch album. Absolutely. The guy with the leather pants and it's just his Crotch on the album. It was really famous. All right. Austin. I know what? everyone out there knows what I'm talking this about. This singer crotch died album. of AIDS. Freddie Mercury. In 1991. AIDS related yeah. pneumonia. Freddie Mercury. All right, highest grossing movie of this list. Jurassic Park, Titanic, Phantom Menace. Titanic. 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 What easy. time is it? Someone do a time check. It's I don't know. dinner. 529. We're almost done. Oh, a couple ra- more questions. We've got to wrap it up. Yeah, we're almost done. We have another podcast tonight, you know. I do know that. With a guest. Me, me. And they have to all right, in, in 1997, Luna, mm-hmm. half, you're born. half of all U.S. households used this to access the Internet. I know. Is it what we have? It's the TV thing. I remember no, what it's called. I, I no, gotta, no, I gotta guess. TV was like 2%. Let me guess. Oh. This is half I know. of America. I know. AOL? AOL. AOL. Yeah. AOL. 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 Is it AOL was, you used to go through your phone? Yeah. Me. Massive. Oh, wow. Don't ask. Please do that again. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Listen. Pierre Omidia in 1995. We're that word. <laughs> O-M-I-D-Y-A-R. Omidia. Okay, just what is it? founded what popular website in 1995? Oh, yeah. In 1995. 95, a website? 
MySpace. Yahoo. MySpace. Google. eBay. eBay. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. <laughs> You're setting off people's phones when you okay, do that. Google. Okay, Google. That's an inside joke for those that don't know. It's a oh. Luna thing. It's what an, was the name? It's Luna an inside joke. To except his telephone all day, every day, and go, okay, Google. Stop that. <laughs> every, okay, time, Google. every time you do that, if our listeners are using an Android phone, you're setting it off. <gasps> okay, okay, Google. Google. <laughs> okay, Google. All right. What was the name of E.T.'s friend on Earth? Elliot. Elliot. Yes. What was the first <laughs> album by a black artist to receive rotation airplay on MTV? Michael Jackson. You are Prince. correct. Thriller. Should be Prince. Should be. Oh my god. Oh my he doesn't like his music circulated. No, I he know. kept it to Luna, himself. This online bookstore started as a website in 1994. Amazon. You are correct. Wow. Amazon. Rachel, in Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, what does John Candy sell for a living? Shower curtain, curtain hook thing. Oh How does my she god! Know that? I love that. <laughs> I, am, I am impressed. I, I thought you go. My husband. I don't know what's going on. I'm impressed. My I'm husband. Sh- you just said it so quickly. I'm just, so shocked. We watch that movie every Thanksgiving. That's like our tradition. Wow. I'm every, impressed. We've been together 24 Thanksgiving. All right, Josie. I've watched it a yes. few times. I even grunge somebody. music boosted the popularity of this kind oh. of shirt. Uh, t- 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 flannel? Flannel yeah. shirts. You are yeah. correct. Why flannel? That's See, grunge. What they wore. Band t-shirts and flannels. It's like you wear your Nirvana one with your flannel. That is a grunge yeah, I, look. No, I, I get that, but I thought I was going to say leather jackets. No. No, no. they're not rockers. That was walkabilly. Grunge shirt for your flannel. Leather jacket, All right. walkabilly. I'm going to name ones. the members of a band. You name the band. The Backstreet Boys. Adam Clayton. Larry Mullen, Dave Evans, and Bono. Oh, I hate you. The Beatles. Too. The Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. <laughs> no. I don't know. I hate them. I told Whose you. Whose breakthrough too. album was titled Antichrist Superstar? Wait, this sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why does this sound just, just guess. I don't know. Antichrist Superstar. Do I get more than that? <laughs> what more do you need? What, what artist would use Antichrist? I know, I know. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Okay. Oh, okay. oh my god! No, I didn't know, but I was going to say him as a guess. Okay, what game oh, who else what would it be game yet? was included with the original release of the Game Boy? Tetris. Tetris. Wow, that's oh, good. Oh god, that's so easy. All right, 1987, album Appetite for Destruction. Guns and Roses. You are correct. Oh, I Is he the guy who sways everywhere? Axel, yes. Axel Rose. Like this. Lead singer? Oh, on yeah. a, I'm going to name the lead singer of a band. You name the band. Oh. Anthony Kiedis. Red Hot Chili Peppers. You are correct. I don't like them. It sounds but spicy. I see them. 1994, Sony introduces this game system. PlayStation. PlayStation. You are correct. All right, in this song... What band sings this song? I may be dumb, but I'm not a dweeb. What? What? I may be dumb, I'm not a dweeb. I'm just a sucker with no Who's self-esteem. I don't know. La 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 The Offspring? Uh, Aren't you guys in The Offspring yeah, now? Yeah, I like Offspring. Uh, I do. They won the video game Crazy Taxi. Yeah, oh, they had some great music. What company began in 1889 making playing cards? Nintendo. Josie got yeah. it. Wait, I think it's in 1989. I would have said didn't. Nintendo immediately. I ah, didn't. I, Wait, I got a better question. I beat Austin. What, what cards did they make and why did they I shut it. No, what wait, planet is no. invaded by the Trade Federation in Phantom Menace? Ah, oh, <laughs> Naboo. No. Oh. That's not a question. Who was the host of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? Oh, um, I know this. <laughs> Dumb so. I'm Robin Leach for Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. All right, in 1986, this charity event raised money for hunger and homelessness. Is it? Is it? See, you have to you, Africa that you could participate in. You participate. We all participated in this. The Goldbergs did a whole episode on it. Wait, what's the question? This charity event. That we all participated in, called Hands Across America, ah. where we all joined hands. Yeah, same. 
Oh, oh boy. Who sang Rhinestone Cowboy? I'm a Rhinestone Neil Diamond. Cowboy. <laughs> wow, Austin, you're funny. That is funny. What's the answer, Rachel? I thought it was Neil she, Diamond. She, 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 Glenn Campbell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, my God. wait, is he the guy on the, the soup, the no. soup containers? No. Oh. <laughs> Are you the guy on the soup? Campbell's yeah. chicken soup. Yeah. All right. This British band's hit single is called Wonderwall. Oasis. 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 You are correct. Oh, man. Uh, wow. What show featured the line, What you talking about, Willis? Different show. You are correct. Different what year did Toy Story get released? Different show. 1995. You are correct. Shania Twain sang this song, Man, I Feel Like a... Woman. You are correct. In the early 90s, these small dolls with crazy spiked hair were extremely popular. The Trolls. The Trolls is correct. See, I do toys. You do toys? She does toys. Rachel, what movie series starring what Clifton movie? Webb as a housekeeper was adapted to a TV series of the same name in 1985? Oh. About a British housekeeper. Talk, song, 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 I love yes, that show. Yes, you like that, show. right? What? For a long time, I thought the Marilyn Manson guy was the brother in it. But I was okay, listen. <laughs> Captain Lou Albano oh, played yeah. Cindy Lauper's father in the video for what song? Push, 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 push. Girls just want to have fun. You are Super correct. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Sybil Shepard and Bruce Willis starred Blue in what lighting. show? Wow. I love that show. Wow. I like that show. <laughs> this 80s show followed the lives of two women New York police officers. Cagney and Lacey. You are correct. See, now they're going back far enough to when I was a child. I've never heard of it. Far enough that I've never heard of any yes, of this. Yes, exactly. Bring them. Keep bringing the old people questions. I'm doing good better here. Old people questions. Okay. I'm you, I need a 70s. Early you spit on me. Well, you're laying under me. What is the name of Dr. Evil's cat? Mr. Bigglesworth. Mr. Biggersworth, he had a toy. what song begins, just a small town girl living in a lonely world? It's Don't Stop Believing. You are correct. Don't Stop Believing. What Norwegian rock band had a hit in 1985 with Take On Me? Oh, uh-huh. 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 I know. Oh, you guys are clever. So clever. Uh-huh. 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 You better read another question. We're losing it. <laughs> We're almost at the bottom of the pile. Yeah, it's good. We need to go to dinner. What pop singer's self-titled album debuted in 1999 included the single What a Girl Wants? What a girl wants. What a girl wants. I don't know what that is. Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. Well, she's coming out of my head, and I don't want it to. What yeah. 80s pop duo had to return their Grammy? Million Vanilli. Million you are correct. Vanilli. That's why. Girl, you know it's true. They lip sync. It wasn't really them singing. It was a great song. <laughs> I love that song. Who were the real singers? Uh, uh, it was two guys. Nobody's, yeah. In the movie Stand By Me, what are they on a journey to go see? Who cares? A waste of time. A dead body. A dead yeah. body is correct. A bad that. conclusion. Uh, yeah. Indie I... sidekick in Temple of Doom is named? So Short round. round. Who Temple sang the summer of 69? Oh, the summer of Brian Adams. You are correct. I always see it summer of 84. Who the sang the song Wind Beneath My Wings? What? Say that again? Wind Beneath My Wings. No? Cheesy love song. That Midler? How do you manage to put my hair if there's no hair? You have hair. It's growing in a girlfriend. I can pick it up. <laughs> that means I can shave it next? No. Uh, you don't have shaved anymore, no. so it wouldn't be jacking your style. He's always jacking my style. <laughs> All right, what is the name of the house mother on Facts of Life? What's Facts of Life? Miss Garrett? It's a house mother. This is Garrett. What is a house mother? Lead singer of the band's name is Belinda Carlisle. Go-Go's. You are correct. I like the Go-Go's. Austin loves the Go-Go's. I really do. <laughs> he really loves the Go-Go's. I really do. Doesn't like that bit of talk, but he loves the Go-Go's. If I had to recommend one song, I would say Head Over Heels is my favorite. Oh, how In 1999, cute. who had the biggest selling album ever? By a teenage artist. Wait, what was the year? 99. 99. Biggest 99. Song Britney Spears. Britney Spears, baby. Uh, Ew. She was 99. I dislike her. I know. She disgusts me. But your daddy loves her so. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Taylor Swift is better. 
Oh, no, no. I believe it's between both <laughs> no. of you. The old fast. You all fast. Oh, we'll go with like oldies. We'll stick with like Deborah Harris. What is the name of yeah. Michael J. Fox's character on Family Ties? Oh, is his name like... I know, um, I know. Come on. I know, I know. I know. I Keaton. Know. Alex, Alex P. Keaton. Alex P. Keaton. Alex P. Keaton. Oh. What is Madonna's last name? Keaton. No, it's it not starts Keaton. with a C. No, no, no. It's so loose. Ciccioni. Madonna. First name, Ma. Yeah. Uh, Who wrote Nothing Compares to You? Prince! You are correct. Uh, oh, my Love God. that man. We're going to do a whole episode <laughs> of him soon. And then I'll be running away. Fine. Then you won't hear who inspired your mother growing up. But I, Carly... Who made me the woman I am today. Oh, my God. Don't cry. See? <laughs> That's for the show. Sing the theme song to WKRP in Cincinnati. WKRP in Cincinnati. Baby, if what is if that? You've ever wondered, wondered, wondered what ever became of me. What is that? I'm living, living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKRP. It's like a tired of yeah, packing it up. Show. Pack it. It's a show. It sounds like an app, like a radio up station. Down it was a radio dial. station, but it was DJs. Baby, you and me were never meant, meant to be. Baby, Maybe think of me once, once in a while. while. I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. WKRP in Cincinnati is filmed before a live wow. studio audience. It is a good show. That's funny, right? Yes. All right, we're almost out of cards. We should do that show sometime and just do show tunes. Like the opening of 80s sitcoms and... Austin, what band claimed you got to fight for your right to party? Yes, Austin. I, uh, Daddy's bad. You got to fight. Oh, the Backstreet Boys? No. Beastie Boys. Oh, oh, no. No, so imagine like, I'm in my room, <laughs> put music on, and I listen to the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's no different, really. Yeah, I mean, really? Yeah. yeah I, I like the they both, if they both have books at the 99 cent store, then you know. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. I think they're overrated too, Austin. For the Wackwood, all 99 cents to it. Backstreet Boy books for years. What actor played Uncle Buck? John Candy. John Candy. You are Uncle correct. Uncle Buck from Uncle Buck. What? Well, you had to explain these things. Who recorded the 1991 album Nevermind? Nevermind. That sounds familiar. Nevermind. I was going to answer this question. Featuring a nude baby, baby in a pool. Isn't that Nirvana? That is Nirvana. Oh! I only know the word out. What's that? What's him in the water naked? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. What popular game with discs was banned from many schools in the early 90s? Lawn darts? Discs. The discs of Twan. No. Pogs. Pogs. I would call them discs. That's not a game. They're cardboard discs. No one played Pogs. They just collected them. Use the slam on the Pogs. No one played, like, fake marbles with them. I think we're wrapping up. Is this the last one? Yeah, yeah, we're getting near the end here. What show featured John Goodman and Roseanne Barr? My most favorite show in the whole wide world, Roseanne, coming back 2018. They give you the answer and the question. I know, right? It's stupid. This game is dumb. <laughs> this game uh, is this cool, song yeah. begins, Tommy used to work on the docks. Tommy used to Oh, I know. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. Tommy used to work on the docks. I know this. <laughs> Your mom was thinking. She's thinking really hard. Like there's steam coming out of my ears. Yeah. I had it and I lost Sing it. it. And I started Tell me you the way you the dog. Is it Bon Jovi? You used been on track. Been down on it. Is, is right is the living on a yes. prayer. I hate that song. Prayer. Take oh. my See, Josie In the 1983 movie The Hunger, what rock star played a vampire? Hunger Games. Hunger? Makes me hungry. Let's get to David life. Bowie. Oh. oh, David so no Bowie. I'm a fan of mine. Wait a second. Austin was out of the room. So I just really pulled my knee back. Did you hear the Bowie him running? Yeah. yeah. They oh, hung I a David Bowie plays a bisexual vampire. Thank okay. you for that. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Thank you for that. Input. What pop star? What pop star was knighted in 1998? Elton John. You are yeah. correct. After his Diana, Princess Diana tribute album. Come it's down. Jesus. These are all his gay heroes. He has to get in on this. Every time I go to the fifth store, I scroll, I scroll through the music albums, and I always see Elton John's name and get excited. But it's always the Princess Diana tribute. All right, right listen. Give him about a six of those. Question. Right. He needs all here's of them. the last question. Unless, we I didn't get to these, but here's the last question. Was when he died. Yes. 
Who would walk 500 miles to be the man to oh, walk yeah, 500 miles? miles and I would walk 500 more just to be a man. <laughs> you gotta go to the pole and they go, yada dee, yada dee, yada dee, yada dee, yada dee, yada dee, Jeff Tucker. I always think of Jeff Tucker. That's right. Jeff Tucker. All right, well, Tucker. should we go through these cards or are we done? Yeah, come on, get us over. Let's just, let's just talk about the fact that, guys, 1980s and 90s cards, nothing about Nickelodeon, Duan Duan, nothing about, um... No, these cards suck. Like, this has been a fun episode. Nothing about MTV. Game. I nothing about MTV. Life. All right, who sings Uptown Girl? Billy Joel. Billy Joel. I love that song. Who wrote, I just called to say I love you. Um, Lionel Richie. No. No. I just called to say I love you. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Stevie Wonder. To say how much I If I am. bought this at the store, yes. I would feel totally gypped. You need two dollars for this. It doesn't say you should have paid a dollar. It doesn't say uh-huh. anyone on here. This is pop culture only. I was expecting questions about the Cold War and political conflict around. I the skipped over, get, get over he here. Said, oh got my more god! Questions. That's all we're wrapping it up. Wait. What, what movie features the line "They're here"? They're here. Oh, is that The Exorcist? No. No. Oh, oh, she looks at the poltergeist. Wow. She looks at the TV. Yeah, yes. poltergeist. I knew that. I don't know. I get all the right. point. Because of I get the point. Because of me. You know There's that. There's no you don't point. Know that movie. I'm going to. I just said the wrong name. Of course you know because of me. I'm going to name some characters. Her. You tell me who they are. <laughs> Bubbles, <laughs> Buttercup, and Blossom. Power Rangers. No. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Girls. You guys suck. <laughs> but we both, we will both went that way. We're such stars. And wow. for that one, you guys skipped over the big question I would have got immediately. What? What British channel opened up in 1994? I would have known that. What are you talking about? It was about? the channel between England and France. The channel? <laughs> oh my god. Are you all getting goofy because we're hot. Calm down. Oh, come on, guys. Right. Who would have skipped over? Yes, what was Josie. the name of the cube that was millions my... in the 1980s? The Rubik's Rubik's cube. Cube. You skipped that. It's a this generic question. Okay, one jo- for me. Josie, I hear who said name. life is like a box of chocolates? <laughs> Forrest Gump! Forrest you Gump. are correct. Run, Forrest, run! She likes that movie. What movie, movie was Macaulay Culkin left behind at Christmas time? Oh, that yeah, home look. I-, I was going to say jingle all the way. What? <laughs> that was Jake Lloyd, though. Wow, nobody puts baby in the corner. Uh-uh, dirty dancing. Okay. <laughs> What what band had a hit with uh, the song The Sign? I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. What? It was a horrible song. Is that What's all the band? I don't know. All is all this Why do I know the words? All that, that she song? wants is another baby. Yeah. Ace of Base. Oh God, that's in my head. Yes. Get it out quick. <laughs> Who sang the song Round and Round? Rat. You are correct. Right 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 I thought it was that one. No, that's Peter Burns. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Who had a hit with Achy Breaky Heart? Heart Brooks. No. No? Achy. My Achy Breaky Heart. I don't know. Just don't. Billy Ray Cyrus. I don't know. That's like the Macarena song. It's one of those popular. I'm tired. Two second songs. The Macarena? Yeah. <laughs> Who wrote the songs for The Lion King with Tim Rice? I'm John. You are correct. There's like 200 more cogs left. I know. No, we're almost there. We gotta pop through this, everyone. No. no. I have to go cook. I have all to right. eat really bad. We're done. <laughs> 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 I'm and all that, you know? you have and to go to the bathroom. <laughs> all right, everybody. And I have to clock. We hope you enjoyed this Power trip Rangers. down Trivia Lane <laughs> with the loudest family to ever appear on a podcast. <laughs> Right. <laughs> We're hungry. I'm tired. You, you skipped They're good starving. Questions. You Damn. overwork us. We're going to have a podcast in like an hour. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I am Jeff Tucker. I'm the voice. Please go to Amazon.com. Check out my new book, Your Friend in Time, How Back to the Future Changed My Life. You can get it for $10.88. Of course, the Sixth Key series is also available. The Sixth Key, The Lost Station, The Infinite Backward, and the newest release, The Ice Temple, are all available on Amazon.com. Book five is due sometime next year. The Tomorrow Machine. How about that? We also do another podcast called the Gemmer Collector Cast. Check out the Gemmer Collector Cast at gemr.com. Follow them at Twitter 
at Jemmer, G-E-M-R. That's a really fun. We're going to do one later tonight with collectible autographs. And uh, look for Rachel appearing daily at either Not Scary Farm, Halloween Horror Nights, <laughs> or the Target Halloween section. Yes, anything scary, I'm there. Anything Spooky you want to plug? Scary skeletons. Not really. Not really? iCarly. iCarly. Luna, anything to plug? I was planning for joke real quick. Hold on a second. We had uh, my birthday party this last Sunday. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for everybody for coming out. I got Starbucks cards. I got a protein pack. (laughs) (laughs) I call it that because Rachel called it. I renamed it. You want that protein pack from the Ghostbusty movie or something? Yeah, the protein pack. I don't know what it was. Walnuts and cheese. (laughs) You got it, right? The proton pack. Yes. Uh, And, uh, uh,. What else did I get? I got uh, Rustin drew me a picture. The Simpsons kids drew me a picture. That was very nice. I got some nice cards. Some I other got a Target card, another, Starbucks card, another, movie tickets. Some other kid drew you a picture, but I don't remember what's it. Austin drew me a Ghostbuster picture to match my protein pack. <laughs> and uh, protein pack. my friend Nathan got me a, a car. electric DeLorean, child size. Is the closest I'm ever going to get to actually owning one. So. I'll be driving it to work back and forth if I can get the battery to work. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we just did the trivia questions, and they were amazing. And most of the trivia came from what year? 91, 91 Reasons. Thanks for listening. By Graham Thar's Hammer. We'll be back with another episode. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. So say we all. Hey, hey, hey.